If you want to improve your lawn, this is the video for you because I'm going to teach you a very interesting way to do it that you may never have considered before. And to do that, we're going to look at some of the best lawns in the world. And that takes us all the way to England. Now in England, they have got some of the most beautiful spaces I've ever seen, but they don't have it easy. Their weather stinks and they've got severe laws in place that prevent them using all sorts of weed control products, fungicides, and they don't have access to half of the products that we do. So what is it then that gives them the edge in having such amazing lawns. And the secret is how they mow their lawns and what they do to take care of them. Now some of these techniques are very different for us in the United States because we've not seen them before, but in England these things are commonplace. And it all starts with having the right kind of lawn mower. Now in England, they don't use the kind of mowers that we do here. They use a mower called a real mower. When you use a real mower, you can have one of the best looking lawns around because real mowers cut the grass sharper and cleaner than any traditional lawn mower that we use. And we're going to look specifically at a lawnmower made by the company named Allet. Now Allet is a British company. They've been around since 1965 making these machines so they really know what they're doing. And in the US, Allet is not well known unless you happen to own a professional stadium. Half of all the stadiums in the US are being cut today with an Allet lawnmower. They're using a model like the one you saw at the beginning of this video, a very big model and way more expensive than any homeowner could get. But I'm going to show you a model that they designed specifically for homeowners. Homeowners. It's been sold in England for years and it's a really amazing machine that can do a lot. Real mowers are really expensive and there's just no way around it. They cost more than regular lawn mowers, but these are designed for somebody that wants to have a great lawn or improve an existing lawn and they want to have a high quality machine. Now the good news is these Allets are actually the least expensive battery powered mower in the United States today. And the model you're looking at right here is the Liberty 43B. Now this is a 17 inch wide machine, so it's gonna be great for a smaller to a medium sized lawn. And this entire mower is totally cordless and runs on a single battery. Now this battery is actually made by Greenworks. It's a standard 40 volt lithium ion. You can replace it whenever you want and you can even get them from other sources other than Allet. And this red safety key prevents the machine from running if you remove it. And this is convenient because you can leave the battery in place but put the key in whenever you want to turn on the machine. This Liberty is a cool machine. It's built very well, it's made of steel, the handle's rock solid, and you've got these cool little design features like this. If you want to collect grass clippings, you just flip that bar down, and the basket hangs right on front. And it's made of plastic, so it's never going to rust or dent. When you're done, storing this thing couldn't be easier and more compact. You just fold the handles down with no tools, and then you can place the basket right on top, and you save a lot of space with this clever design. Allet's mowing adjustment height knob is absolutely ingenious because you don't need any tools, you just turn it and the machine will adjust accordingly. And in the window right there is a setting that will tell you what height you're cutting at. The S in case you're curious stands for scarifier and that's the lowest setting you can cut at. And as you can imagine, using a battery has a lot of benefits. The machine makes very little noise and it's easy to operate with no fumes, no gasoline, and when you turn the power on, you're just ready to go. Using the Allet is easy and it's safe. If you squeeze that red handle, nothing happens until you press that red safety button. But they've designed it for comfort because you can let go once you've pushed it down. And now you can select what speed you want the machine to run at. And that simple switch is easy to turn and it controls the real and the ground speed of the machine. So just pick the speed you want, squeeze the lower handle to engage it, and you'll be able to walk and mow at a comfortable speed. Another reason English lawns look so good is because they do more maintenance to them, but they actually do it with less work. Because a mower like this is not just a lawn mower, it uses a cartridge system that allows you to swap out that mowing reel to do other jobs. So all you've got to do is take out a few simple screws and that lawn mowing reel will pop right out and now we can do another job, say like dethatching. Here we get a close up of the front roller. Now you've got a roller in the front and the back, but when you combine it with this little comb right here, what this does is it fluffs up the grass before it gets cut. So that's going to prevent you getting any blades of grass getting flattened that never get cut. Another secret to a great lawn is to keep raking it because you're going to pull out thatch and other kinds of debris. Now here in Massachusetts we get a lot of acorns, pine cones, and pine needles. So that's where this cartridge right here comes in. It's all aluminum on the sides and steel and it's very well built. But this thing is going to go onto the lawn using the allet and it's going to act like a power rake. 
was a perfect test and I could use the help because these acorns were all over the place, they were wet, embedded in the ground, and nobody likes a cleanup job like this. I've actually got a lot more of a slope here than you'd think, and you can hear that noise, that's all those acorns going right into the hopper. I was pretty amazed because acorns can be really tough to get up, and this thing was scooping them up, and now we can take a look at what it actually picked up. This machine is really capable, that bin weighed an absolute ton. And once I pull my pants up and dump this thing out, you can see what's inside, and there were a ton of acorns in this thing. I was absolutely amazed at what a good job this thing did, and it really pulled them right out of the ground. There were so many more here than I ever expected. This is one of the key reasons an English style lawn looks so good. They use real mowers, they love battery powered units, and they do a great job cutting the lawn. I was really impressed with this outlet. The quality is there. It's made in England by a company that's been making them for almost 50 years, which is pretty amazing. And the biggest thing of all is the battery. You can cut or run it for about 45 minutes on a single charge, which doesn't sound like a long time, but for many lawns, that's going to be enough. Or you can just buy a second battery and then you'll be ready to go all the time. But I really felt this machine did a great job and I just loved using it even more than I expected to. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.